hypnosis is when we take it upon ourselves to be responsible for ourselves in that regard. And at the core of, of the best of every spiritual discipline is a return to that personal responsibility. We talk a lot about shamanism, for instance, and there is uh, a tendency uh, for a, a veneration and even a fetishization of these cultures because in many ways they've been kept pure and secure from our Western ways. But, but even in that sense, we, we also have to remember that we're responsible for who, where we are, for our culture, for what our responsibilities are here, and uh, how we carry ourselves. So that, that gnosis, that direct understanding and knowledge, um, also has an implication in modern magic. And what do I mean by modern magic? I, I essentially mean the Western strain that way back when came through shamanism and went through all of the different veins. And because of the nature of Western society and the domination of fundamentalism, a lot of that stuff had to be subverted. And this is kind of what caused a lot of things to come about with secret societies. Uh, a very outspoken uh, monk named Giordano Bruno uh, thought that it would be okay to bring back the hermetic society, to bring back a lot of the things that Grant Hancock was talking about, that this beautiful uh, religious tradition that came from Egypt that, that venerated the gods. And, um, and Giordano Bruno kind of was one of those people who really catalyzed the, the subversion of, of Western shamanism or what we would now consider magic or witchcraft, things like that. And now we have the stigma of that word witchcraft. We have the stigma we imagine Gothic people walking around, you know, with all dark makeup and so on and so forth. But that's not the reality. When we get down to the core of it, Western magic will tell you just as easily that the greatest work of magic that one can do is to transform themselves. Isn't that the core of what we're supposed to be doing anyway? So this is why Gnosis is so important because it has multiple meanings in, in, in present times. We have this absolute need for taking personal responsibility, for taking the experience for ourselves. I would not trust a virgin to give me sex advice. I would not trust a person to tell me what pizza is if they've never eaten pizza in their entire life. Because you can read a book about pizza, right? You can watch a, a film about pizza, you can see Anthony Bourdain, uh, lots of things can happen. You can even have separate ingredients, but unless you've tasted pizza, you really shouldn't be speaking as an authority on the subject, or you don't have a point of reference. And so, this is why it's important. 